Hello, how are you all? Hope you're all good. Today we're going to do a nice kind of relaxation Pilates. So we're going to do quite a lot of stretch all lying down today because we've done quite a few sessions on our feet and with weights and things. So today you can actually use weights if you wish. I'm not going to, but you can if you just want to just kind of use it more for that extra stretch. Um, it's all going to be nice line on the back, nothing you haven't done before. Um, so enjoy it. Still work hard, still get that core working, but just go with the flow. So we're going to start lying down on our backs. We're going to have our legs straight down on the floor. We're relaxing the arms, the palms turned up, shoulder blades squeezed under, just let yourself go. If with your legs extended doesn't work for you because your lower back doesn't like it, then just simply bend your knees. So bring yourselves down to the floor. And just find your relaxation. So extending your legs if you can, letting your legs go, turn your palms up, slightly short, slide those shoulder blades under and just let your body go. Take some long deep breaths. I'm just going to adjust my camera slightly so I'm not so much of a silhouette. sure that's going to work strange lighting today but anyhow as long as you can see what i'm doing so just continue your breath and then just bring your arms up and overhead interlacing your fingers turning your palms away bring your legs together sliding your feet together take a long deep stretch and on the inhale you'll feel your rib cage expanding out to the sides stretching out through the body on the exhale, just let your body float down, gently pushing the ribcage down, lightly squeezing in through the lower abs, and repeat, inhaling, lifting and lengthening through the body. And then exhaling, just floating back down. And then release the fingers, bring your arms down by your side, palms facing down. Find your comfortable position and then gently tilt your tel tailbone so you're squeezing down deep into the lower abs. Lengthen out through the legs, putting your toes in, your heels away. And then point your toes forward, changing your ankle position. Now I want you to keep your toes slightly pointed and we're going to lift this front leg. We're going to inhale, raise the front leg up towards the sky, pausing at the top, lengthening out. And then you're going to pull your toes down, your heels away. So your foot is brought in like that, lengthening out. Dropping that leg gently down towards the floor, letting it gently drop to the ground. Slightly pointing the toe, lift the opposite leg up as we inhale. Exhale, dorsal flexion of the foot, lowering that leg down, keeping those abs secure. Pointing through the toe, lift the opposite leg. So we're just going to do leg raises, <clears throat> excuse me, down and up. Just working through the breath. Deepening that little squeeze through the lower tummy to stabilize the pelvis and the hips so we don't want to be walking around. Squeezing the butt. Relaxing the shoulders. Inhale, lift, pointed toe. Exhale, dorsal flexion. Start to just very slightly turn your leg out. So it's a lateral rotation from the hip. So we're just slightly angling the toes out towards the sides, you lower the legs. So the inner thighs are a little bit more active when warming up. So all I've done is slightly rotate, toes pointing out. Hips parallel at the bottom, you rotate, toes pull down. And we're just going to go one more each side. Front side, leg extended, lowering down. Back side, lifting up. And then pause at the bottom, toes together, slide your heels away, slide your fingertips around to the side of the head. We inhale, gently lifting the chin towards the chest, holding lightly onto the back of the head. Exhaling, rolling up, squeezing up into gentle crunch, just working those upper abs. And then inhale to hold, exhale, lower it down. 
Inhale, lift the chin towards the chest. Exhale, roll up, elbows open, squeeze, and then lower it down. So it's a very slow process. You're exhaling on the movement. You're pausing for quick breath in at the top, and then you're exhaling, rolling back out. Keep those legs beautifully extended. Keep your buttocks engaged. Keep that tailbone tucked, which is loosening up the spine and that frontal plane. Just waking up those upper abs. And now just begin to hover the front leg as you curl up. And as you lower everything down, drop the heel to the floor. And then curl up the other side, the leg lifts. I'm just so subtle with my leg lift, you barely even notice that it's lifted off the ground. If I lifted my leg all the way up to here, I'm not really going to get the same effect. Okay? The point of this exercise is it's just activating our abs to lift the thigh, then the crunch kicks in, and then you lower down. So it's a lot harder just to do that hover. Little squeeze, 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 squeeze. And after the whole of your abdomen working, that front alignment. Okay, on your next elevation, we curl up, we lift that leg to hover, we do a five pulse press, five, four, three, two, squeeze it up, and then lower it down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, hover the back leg, curl up, five pulse press, let's go, five, four, three, two, and one, inhale, exhale, roll it down. And again, front leg, we curl up, five pulse press. Two, three, come on, lift those shoulders, squeeze deep into those abs, and then hold, exhale, curl it down. And again, to that back leg, curl it up. Five, four, three, two, and one, inhale, hold, exhale, lower. Give me one more each side, curling up, pulses. Lift, come on, open those elbows, lift the shoulders, pause, and release. Last time, curl it up, hover that leg, and reach, reach. Let's get higher in those shoulders, not in that leg. Last two, and then hold, take a breath in, lift, and exhale, roll it out, interlace those fingers. Take a stretch, inhale, dome through the abs. Let everything float up towards the ceiling and then exhale, float it all the way back down. Engage in those abs one more time. Inhale, big lift. And exhale, release the arms down towards the floor. So we bring our back hand around to the side of the head. The left leg, so my back leg here, is going to stay strong and pressed into the floor. Front leg's going to move. As we lift that leg up, we lift and we curl into a crunch. We lower the leg as we inhale. Exhale, curl, work those obliques. I've got a very soft bend in my knee. Twist this arm. You can just gently relax slightly wider of the body. Or you can hover it if you wish. It's your choice. Now, if you want to add a little bit more into this, when you lift that leg and you crunch, that opposite leg hovers and then it releases as that leg drops. So we lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, hover and drop it, lowering that leg, sorry, back to a hover. So you don't have to do it, you can keep that leg pressed into the floor. It's just a little tiny bit more challenge into those lower abs just to let that back leg hover very slightly. Give me four more. If you need to ease off a little bit, just curl the knee in, extend the leg away. Curl the knee in, extend the leg away. I think my covering on my screen's got a little bit better now. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, curl. So keep it straight if you can, three more. Keep that back leg hovering if you can. Last one, guys. Lift up, 
crunch it, hold it, hold it, and press for five, four, three, two, and one. Slide your hands around the back of that thigh and drop your leg, leg at the back, drop your shoulders and extend that leg and stretch the hands away. Bending the elbows, driving that leg in. So either underneath the joint of the knee here, bending the elbows and sliding that leg in, pushing the leg back against the hands. Or if you're really flexible, you might be able to hold into that calf and drive your leg in there, okay? Just try not to hunch up through the shoulders. Keep the foot relaxed for now. Find your stretch. Press down into your hips. You feel your hips pushing down into the floor so you're not lifting up. Two more breaths. And then just bend that knee and bring it to a 90 degree angle, a tabletop position. And then I want to hold onto that leg, raise your back leg until it comes to about the line of the foot. Slide that foot onto the knee. Now from there, we release the arms. We inhale, lower the leg. Exhale, extend, slide the leg up, extending your legs to the sky. Then this front leg comes down and the back foot slides down the shin to there. Extend it all the way back up, pause. Swap to the other side, slide that leg. Slide it back up, pause. Slide the back foot, got it? Raise the leg. So if it feels too much, just reduce the range to there and then back up again, reduce the range to there and back up again. Okay, and if you need to keep a bend in the knees, just slide away, bend, slide away, bend. So it's just a leg extension, still with that sliding motion of the foot beside the shin. So take your pick, whatever works for you. Relax the shoulders. If you want more, you just take those legs lower, hover, lifting up. Four more guys, come on, work it. Squeezing deep into those abs. Nearly there. One more. And then hold those legs towards the sky. Extend now if you can. Pointing my toes to the ceiling, lifting my arms up and pulsing 20 times, reaching, keeping the legs fixed down. So I'm not lifting my bottom, my bottom's firmly on the ground. I'm just doing the upper body, working those upper abs. 10, 9, 8, just trying to reach up to those toes. 6, 5, come on, 4, 3, 2, last one. And then lower your head, lower your shoulders. Back leg drops all the way down. Bend this knee, catch it around the front of the knee and let's take it into a hip flexor stretch. So, the back leg is pushing down into the floor, toes pointing up, heels down. I'm taking my back hand around the front of the shin and then I'm using my arms to drive the knee in towards the shoulder. Just breathe. So if you wish, you can take, make some little circles, taking the knee up, taking it around into the center, pushing it away, and just creating some mobility into that hip flexor. And then take it the other way. And as you move through in this circle, you'll find your areas of tension. And I want you to pause when you find that really kind of stiff part so mine's probably in the middle. Some people might be out to the side and then just encourage that stretch. See if you can slide your opposite leg further deep down into the mat. Two more breaths. Use that arm, those arms to really press down. And then gently just release, ease off. And drop the foot down to the ground. Slide the other leg down up to join it. So feet running in line with knees and hips, arms relaxed down by your side, feet parallel. We take a breath in, open the toes, ground down through all four corners of your feet, tilt the pelvis and raise your hips up into a bench. Find your breath. 
distribute the weight equally to both sides of the body, so feeling the strength of both sides, of dominant size and taking over. We inhale, front leg, put it in. Exhale, extend the leg up. Inhale, bend the knee back, and exhale, return the foot. Opposite side, inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend, and exhale, down. So we continue this. We swap over. We do one point, two point, three point, and four point. The hips don't change position. You just keep that strength. You keep your toes pointed. You find that the more you go into this, the more strength you can build by pressing deeper into the thigh, lifting those hips a little bit higher, squeezing through the butt, keeping your focus. And I want you to do your front leg one more time and pause at the top. So we pull in, we extend, and we press the hips up and down. And eight, be strong. If it's too much, just drop the foot, carry on the presses with both legs. Five, four, three, come on, power it up through this back thigh. Last one, push it up. And then inhale, bend the knee, exhale, lower the foot. Inhale, lift your hips. Take a breath in, back knee comes in. Exhale, extend it to the sky. Let's go, 10 on this side, 10, nine, eight, big breath, seven. Use that butt, six, use your strength, five. Lengthen this fat leg, last three, and two, and one, inhale, bend the knee, exhale, drop, inhale, lift those hips, and exhale, roll it out to the ground. Land on the ground, find your spine, find your breath. Pull this back knee in, slide your hands down in front of the shin, front hand go a little bit lower, Slide this front leg away and find your hip flexor stretch. So find the stretch first of all and then take it into those little circles. We go across the center over to the end. A couple of more in this direction and then you simply change direction. And then just be very aware as to where you find a tight area is and then pause in the next circle and then use some stretch if you like. And slide the opposite leg down that mat. Breathe. Use quite a lot of arm strength again. Two more deep breaths. And then just ease off for me. Take that leg up to 90 degree angle, sliding your hand down back and forth. So we'll power up through those abs again. Gently lift that leg up, it comes to alignment with the foot, arms relax, lift up. So we lower down, we lift up, we slide the leg and we swap to the other side. Lower down, lift up, slide the leg, pause and to the other side. So remember, we need to reduce it, just go a little bit lower, don't go so high, um, sorry, go a little bit higher so you're not so low. Or if that still doesn't work, just go to extending, sliding that foot, pull it back in, extending, pull it back in. So you never move further the angle, how far this foot goes. So as you lengthen, the leg just instantly has the foot just resting on it and then you pull back in. So it's just whatever works for you. Let's see if we can go a little bit lower. Let's work harder. Six more, three more each side. Use deep into your core. <sighs> Nearly there. Nearly there. 
And then extend those legs up to the sky. If your legs are bent now, extend them. Lift up and let's go. 20 presses. Reach, reach. See if you can lengthen out through these legs. Keep the bottom firmly on the ground. Come on, let's go a little bit further for those last 10. Reach it. Higher. Last two, last one, and then gently lower the head, soften the knees, take this front leg gently down to the floor, slide your hand around back and thigh, extend that leg, and push that back leg into extension. So we're stretching the hamstring on the other leg. So options to hold where I am, bending the elbows, driving that leg in, forcing the hips down to the floor. So I'm not lifting my buttock at the back, it's very easy to do. Ground it and then I'm pushing back against the hand and then bending the elbow. If you want to go that little bit further, do so, but keep the head and shoulders relaxed. Foot soft and just stretching out through that back leg. Two more breaths. Now, when we finish, if you can keep your leg up, do so. Relax your back arm down to the floor or hover. Bring that front hand to the side of the head. And we keep this leg solid in the ground. We exhale, curl up. Inhale, drop the leg, drop the head and shoulders. Exhale. Inhale. And so lightly hold onto the top of the head. You have that option also as you lift the leg. Hover, drop the hover as you lower the leg, lift up, squeeze, hover, okay, your choice. Draw everything up through that belly, feel your obliques twisting, if this feels too much for you, drop the leg and just work that leg on its own, but remember if it's still too much, you can do this with a bent knee, so you extend away. Curling, extend away and curling. Wherever you are, four more. Keep it slow, keep it controlled. Last two. Now, this last one. Let's go. Lift it up, pause, and press. Five, four, three. Hold that leg if you can. Last one. And release the head, release the shoulders, release the leg, giving the arms to the floor, turn your palms out, let your back. Turn your head side to side. Roll through the body, do whatever you need to do, side by shoulder goes under and just breathe. And come back to the centre, sizing your arms wide to the T. So if you feel you want to use your weight, you can, it's up to you. Bend those legs, lift those knees up to take the top. And we slowly rotate over to the side. Pause, take your eyebrows the other way, inhaling back to the centre. And exhaling over to the side, pausing, shoulder blades stay firm on the ground, using your obliques to rotate the hip. So we're going to just do a few like this. You can make your knee a little bit longer if you want. We're going to come back to the exercise and make it harder. So just for now, work wherever you can. And I want you to just add in a leg extension in the centre. So when you fly through the middle, pause, extend your legs away, bend your knees back in, and continue your rotation, turn your eyebrows the opposite way. Pausing, extending, bending, and continue. Now remember, if you don't want to push your legs too far away, just pause in the centre, extend your legs to the sky instead, and then bend your knees and carry on. Just to take, if that's basically if you're very tight in your hamstrings, 
or you're feeling like your core's a little bit weaker today, and you don't want to cause any problems into your lower back. Now we're going to add in leg extension to the side. So we curve over, we pause, we extend, we bend, we to center, extend, bend, center, over to the other side, extend, bend, and so on. So every time you change, you lengthen, you bend, you twist, pull those feet up towards that hand. So you're working deeper into those obliques. Give me one more each way. So we come one more way towards me. Extend and pause, pause, pause. Straighten, pull those thighs closer in. Four, three, two, and bend. Come through to center. Extend, pause, hold it. Push your spine down into the ground. Squeeze deep into your abs. Three, two, and one, bend. Over to the other side, pause. Extend, hold, 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 hold. So if you pull those thighs further in, squeeze it a little bit further. Four, three, two, and one. Bend those knees and drop them all the way down. So, any dodgy hips or groin area in the thighs, kind of that dodginess that some people have sit through the groin area. I know some of you have. You may want to just get a cushion or a block between your legs or underneath your legs to take a little bit more of that rotation away. Otherwise, just rest there, hand onto the thigh, pull your knees up further if you want to go deeper and twist into that back shoulder. Two more breaths. Release the arm. Lift that knee. Lift the other knee. Drop your feet down in the middle. Take a rest. Lift those legs. So we're going to go back to our rotations. This time, if you can, take it into a pendulum style. Go straight in the legs up. We rotate over to one side. We pause, we squeeze. We inhale back through to center. We exhale, lifting, uh, losing the middle part over to the other side and pause. So just continue your pendulum. If it's too much for straight legs, get a micro bend or just above that 90 degree angle with the knees. If you want to make it harder, you can swing your pendulum around into a smiley face and pull the legs in. Inhale, exhale, all the way over and pull your legs in. Okay, that's your other option. Four more, wherever you are. You might just be swinging through the center, keeping that control, okay? Remember, there's no right, there's no wrong, as long as you've got the control and the core is working and there's no strain in your lower back, that is the most important thing. Last two. Swing one more time forward, pause, and then everyone, all the way, oh, sorry, hop, pause there, and see if you can now extend your legs and hold it, hold it, hold it, three, two, and one, bend, and lower. Take a breath in, find your block if you need it, maybe into your knees or maybe underneath the thighs, just to give you a little bit extra lift and twist into that back shoulder. If you get some clickage in the back, you are lucky. It's always a good sign. Move. If you wish to take your knees higher, do.
And then when you're ready, just release this front arm, lift the top leg, follow the bottom leg with it. And then as you drop your feet to the floor, just keep the feet and the knees fairly wide. A bit of line in there. And then just let your knees drop over to one side, let them fall. If you wish, you can take that foot on the knee and just encourage more rotation. You want to find the stretch down the thigh, into the hips, into the abdomen, and just breathe into that stretch. So if you need to adjust your legs a little bit to find the right stretch, do so. You might need to wiggle that knee a little bit further. You don't want it in the lower back, you want it in the front, so just find the place that works. If it doesn't, don't use the foot, just relax the body. And then simply just roll back through to the centre, over to the other side. If you wish, foot on the knee, find that stretch. And then when you're ready, release the foot. Put both your knees back into the centre. Keep your feet wide, let the knees fall in. Bring your arms down, shoulder blades turn on, to turn your palms up. And I want you to really breathe into those lungs. And I want you to feel your spine sitting down as you wait to hear. Last breath. And then just open the knee. With one knee catching it with the hands, followed by the other one. We're going to roll side to side, keep the legs very wide. And then side of your hands underneath the thighs. Just roll yourself up to seated. And then find the comfortable place. So, bring your fingertips down by your side. Just slide back a little bit so you can see me. Sit tall, open your eyes. Inhale, exhale, extend those arms up above your head. So look forward and just bow forward, allowing your body just to sink, stretching away. Doesn't matter how far you go. And then gently walk the fingers in, lift up tall, and we just swap the feet over. Inhale, lift up, exhale, extend your arms, lift up and lengthen, look forward, and then drop down again. So this time we're just changing the lift position, lower the head, lower the chest, drop your head down, chin towards the chest. And then carefully just walk your hands in, come and sit yourself up tall, arms resting on your legs. Inhale, lift the shoulders up and exhale down, open your palms. We inhale up to the sky one more time, look up, interlace the fingers, take a full body stretch. And then gently lowering your hands down in front of you, turn your palms, open those shoulder blades, squeeze your fingers together. Imagine you're trying to pull your fingers apart and just find that lovely open, keep your rhomboids in your traps. And then carefully release your arms, close your eyes, open your arms softly and then inhale your arms. Just make a gentle circle with your arms bent, bring your hands together as you exhale, lowering down, give yourself a bow. Thank you very much everyone as always. Have a wonderful week and look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye bye.